Hello, I'm Emily Campbell with the Center for Community Solutions, a nonpartisan research and policy institute. Welcome to Human Services 101, a straightforward guide to the social services in Ohio. Our goal through this project is to provide easy to understand yet comprehensive information on the important social service systems that help Ohioans. In this segment, I'll provide a brief overview of services for children in Ohio. If you want to dig deeper on this issue, check out the complete guide, which includes extra data and graphs, as well as links to other resources. Additional videos on other areas of the human services are also available on our website at www.communitysolutions.com. An array of services are available to support and protect children in Ohio. This includes child protective services, assistance with child care expenses, case management, programs to support parents, and educational programs. Child Protective Services, or CPS, is the responsibility of Public Children Service Agencies, or PCSAs, under the umbrella of the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services Office of Children and Families. PCSAs are responsible for investigating claims of child abuse, neglect, or dependency, providing case management services, as well as managing foster care, kinship care, and adoptions. Every county is served by a PCSA, though a few agencies serve more than one county. Some operate directly out of Job and Family Services offices, while others are standalone agencies. For example, in Cuyahoga County in Northeast Ohio, these services are coordinated by the Division of Child and Family Services. Child Protective Services rely on funding from federal, state, and local sources. However, Ohio is more reliant on local funding, primarily available through levy dollars, than other states. About 100,000 reports of child abuse and neglect are made annually in Ohio, and investigations of all claims must begin within 24 hours of a report. Child welfare caseworkers use a system called SACWIS, short for Statewide Automated Child Welfare Information System, to collect and share information and manage their cases. Depending on county size and funding streams, some PCSAs may offer a variety of additional support and prevention services, such as therapies and intensive case management, either directly or through contracts with local providers. Every Ohio County is served by a Family and Children First Council, or FCFC. Established by the state in 1993, the purpose of Family and Children First Councils is to streamline and coordinate government services for children and families. They are meant to act as conveners of local child serving agencies to examine issues of capacity, to enhance accountability, and to set priorities around these pertinent community issues. Family and Children First Councils are also important because they are responsible for arranging for the coordination of Help Me Grow referrals and for overseeing the early intervention services of Help Me Grow for infants and toddlers with developmental disabilities. Help Me Grow serves expectant mothers and children under age three and has three program components, a home visitation program for at-risk families, early intervention services and service coordination for children with developmental delays and disabilities, and an infant hearing program. Help Me Grow is funded through both federal and state funds. Affordable and accessible childcare is a challenge for many families and a substantial need. Childcare costs can be excessive, particularly for very young children. Low-income families in Ohio may be eligible to receive assistance with childcare costs. Assistance is offered through the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services and managed locally through County Job and Family Services offices. Co-pays are required and can be substantial depending on income. Families can enter the program at or below 130% of the federal poverty level and may stay in the system and receive child care assistance up to 300% of poverty. Co-pays will increase accordingly. After 300% of poverty, which is about $60,000 for a family of three, no assistance is available. Families receiving assistance must send their child to a home or facility that is licensed through the state. The Ohio Department of Job and Family Services is responsible for licensing and compliance for child care providers. Head Start is a preschool option for low-income children. The program also provides assistance to enroll families, such as parenting support and resource and referral. 
Many Head Start programs offer part day, full day, and home-based options. Early Head Start programs serve infants and toddlers, as well as expectant mothers, through both home and center-based program options. 90% of enrolled children must be at or below 100% of the federal poverty level. Head Start is a federally funded and administered program. Agencies must follow many rules and regulations outlined by the Administration for Children and Families Office of Head Start and meet child care licensing guidelines from the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services. Historically, programs were operated through community action agencies. However, other nonprofit or social service agencies may compete for grants. Community action agencies are the local nonprofit organizations that carry out the community action program established by the Economic Opportunity Act of 1964 and often associated with the War on Poverty. The focus of community action agencies is housing, income management, employment assistance, as well as general health and well being. Most community action agencies also administer Head Start programs, emergency food assistance, and home heating and cooling assistance programs, such as the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, or HEAP. Programs vary from agency to agency, but every community action agency's goal is to alleviate poverty. The primary funding source for most community action agencies are community service block grant funds, often called CSBG. These dollars are federal funds that flow through the Department of Development. Community action agencies also rely on other state, federal, and local grants. Working parents often rely on after-school programs to provide safe environments for their children to play and learn after the school day is over. Many parents and community members are concerned about children spending time alone in the afternoon and evening hours, and quality after-school programs can help keep kids safe and engaged in their communities. However, according to the Ohio After School Network, Ohio needs over 500,000 additional after school slots to meet the need. After school programs may be operated directly by local schools, city or county entities, or by private providers. Eligible programs may seek reimbursement for nutritious snacks through the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Thank you for taking the time to learn about services for children in Ohio. For more information or to view videos on other areas of the human services, visit our website at www.communitysolutions.com.